I don't know who's coming up with these uh, laws and who's trying to pass all of these laws, but this is not going to end well. And if this video don't stick now, it will definitely come back to bite y'all in the ass years later. Well, that's if they don't shut my channel down for putting information like this out. So the Pentagon is moving forward toward letting AI weapons autonomously decide to kill human. Hmm. So nobody's seen Terminator. Nobody's seen all these movies that um, robots become uh, sentient and then they decide to uh, kill human beings. Like, who is passing all of these laws? Like, what are they smoking on? Like, these are the guys that you people put in office to make decisions, stupid decisions like these. Anyway, I expect China to do some shit like that, but not the Pentagon. Like, these people are supposed to be smarter than us, no? Anyway, South Korea military drones fly uh, in uh, formation during a joint military drill with the U.S. at, I can't even pronounce that, as a, that Songjin Fire training field in Pohokan on May 25th, 2023rd. So the U.S. among countries arguing against new laws to regulate AI control killer drones. The U.S., China, and other developing so-called killer robots critics are concerned about the development of machine that can decide to take human's life. Now, robots are not something that has feelings, emotion, and can make decisions. They are just sentient beings that just probably gain some form of knowledge of what a human life is like see they got ai that's going to be selling people um mcdonald's and all these fast food stuff they're getting rid of um cashiers waiters and um yeah my car is pretty much my car is autonomous because i have a tesla so if i decide not to make the payment guess what they just shut the fucking car down and i see them having these little robot police um thing inside the um the the train station i don't know what the fuck that is but they need to work on those but these robots they're pushing them to um become police officers probably put them on the on the field of of to battle and to be honest with you when it comes to us these things they always start out good and the um the whole idea of it on the surface is good but deep down, they're going to be killing people because a lot of this stuff, they don't ever put out in the papers because, as you know, know, the news is filtered. They put out what they want to put out. And um, these robots with all these different, different movies and stuff like that, once these robots become aware or whatever they want to call it, they're going to be killing people, like killing people. You know what I'm saying? And... It just never ends well because with all these different Android movies that we've seen over the years, I can't believe somebody will have the nerves, much less the gall to put something like this out in charge, like a robot to kill a human. Like, like who comes up with stuff like this? Anyway, the development of AI controlled drones that can make autonomous decision about whether to kill human target is moving closer to reality. Lethal autonomous weapons that can select target using AI and being developed by countries including the USA, China, and Israel. Well, you know, Israel is going to jump on a wagon if America says so, because that's what they do best. So the use of these so-called killer robots would mark a distinct uh, this will mark as a distributing development, says critics. Uh, handing life or death battlefield decisions to machine with no human input. Remember, a human have a conscience and a human has feelings and emotion. These machines are cold. Several governments are lobbying the UN for the bidding resolution restricting the use of AI killer drones by the U.S. is among a group of nations, which also includes Russia, Australia, and Israel, who are resisting any such move. 
favoring non-binding resolution instead, the Times reported. Now, this is really one of the most significant inflection and point of humanity. Alexander, I think his name is Kemet, Austria chief negotiator on the issue, told the Times. What's the role of human beings in the U.S. force? It's an obviously fundamental security issue, a legal issue, and an ethical issue. The Pentagon is working for to deploy swarms and thousands of AI-enabled drones, according to the notice publisher earlier this year. In a speech in August, U.S. Deputy, Deputy Secretary of Defense, Kathleen Hicks, said technologies like AI-controlled drone swarms will enable the U.S. to offset China's People Liberation Army. Numerical advantage in weapons and people will counter the PLA mass with mass of our own, but, our, or, but ours will be harder to plan for, harder to hit, harder to beat. So Frank Kendall of the Air Force Secretary told the Times that AI drones will need to have the capability to make lethal decision whether under human supervision. Hmm, you know, that don't work well. Individual decisions versus not doing individual decision is the difference between winning and losing. So when they make these robots, um, I guess it will be who's the better robot, who has a quicker draw, and who makes a better decision. Moving forward, you're not going to lose, he said. Hmm. This is what white people are saying. I think people would be up against would do that and then it will give them a huge advantage if we put the limitation on ourselves. You know, these movies that we're watching is actually playing out in front of us. The new scientists reported in October that air control drones have already been deployed on the battlefield by Ukraine in the fight against Russia invasion. I guess we're supposed to feel safe with that. Though it's unclear if any have taken action resulting in a human casualty. The Pentagon did not immediately respond a request for comment. Anyway, here's my take on this. I think this is a foolish decision. I would never suppose something like this. I mean, they got AI sex dolls. I mean, like... What do you expect? They got AI dogs. Like, they going AI every goddamn thing. You, you seen that movie, Demolition Man? That's the direction we're moving. You seen Terminator? That's the movie. We, that's the direction that we're going. You seen Cyborg? That's the direction that we're going in. And in the end, AI will always try to become sentient. You saw Mission Impossible, what the, the drone did? I mean, the, the AI did? It... It rewrote the program, faked a missile, then the missile, then the missile that they shot out the submarine came back to kill them. Hmm. Sounds familiar? I mean, this is not the, sh I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer, but this is a poor decision. But as always, humans are always going to make stupid decisions. It got to backfire on them in order for them to see their mistake. And who's pushing this? White people. Good luck to them in that one.